name is Ellis Gaming, welcome back to another video. It is very early in the morning, I say very early, I mean it's almost nine. But um, I thought today we'd do a little productive day because I haven't had an actually productive day in quite a while. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make some tea, we're going to go upstairs, write out everything I want to do today and then hopefully get it all done because I'm also going out later. So hopefully I'll get it all done by this evening. Hello. So, so yeah. we are back, we are finally ready. Um, I've got my tea, very happy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to write out, like I said earlier, we're going to write out everything I want to do. I know I definitely want to do languages practice today. I don't know what language because there's quite a few that I want to do. I think I might do some Japanese anyway. And then I really want to tidy up my room properly because <laughs> it hasn't been tidy for a very long time. I need to clear up my desk a bit. It's got Christmas stuff on it and I don't need Christmas stuff right now, obviously. Um, and yeah, I'll try to think of some other stuff. But let's get right in. <laughs> Or later i've probably spent like 20 minutes doing this but i've done some character practice that i set out last time i need to do another one i might do some duolingo because um i haven't done this for so long i can't seem to remember anything so what i'm gonna do is get changed and then properly sit down and do this i'm gonna write some more stuff out go through it again because i don't know if anyone else has this about learning languages especially like um, Japanese because there's a lot of different alphabets you need to learn. I say a lot of different, there's like two. And then you've got kanji which is like the mixed one which I want to start learning but I want to be able to read the like main um, alphabets first. So on this page I literally struggled so much even though I did like a character practice here of uh, I think it's called Dakawan. I don't know if I pronounced that right but basically it's just the patterns of letters because all of them have a pattern and it's quite easy to follow so once you know one of the characters in that pattern you can figure out what the rest of them are it's just that remembering what the main like character like symbol is also, i can't face anywhere the lighting is awful there we go we'll go with that like for example p b and h or f instead of h with like a e o I and O like they all have the same like base of it just the P has a little circle and the B has like two dashes on the side so it's just about learning the patterns basically and just because I haven't done it for so long I used to use Duolingo every day to like go over the characters and then it was so you level you up and you write them out so we're gonna have to do some more practice on that but I'm gonna get changed actually and then properly sit down and do this so i'm back i've been writing out some more practice pages for when i let go to revise basically i've just done the different alphabets and i've mixed up like the letters and the characters and then i've done on one of the sides so i've done hiragana here so i've done all the p b h a and i've just written it out twice and given the character just so i can write it out over and over again basically Hopefully to stick it in my memory, but I've done a lot of um, languages this morning, so I think that's going to do it for today. I might do some more tomorrow, maybe, because I really do want to actually remember some of this stuff, so it would be helpful. And then what I'm going to do is, I wanted to do this series in summer. I'm not going to say too much about it, but I want to plan that out, so I might do that, and then I'm going to clean up my desk. I know this hasn't been a lot going on just yet, but I've literally spent an hour sat here just doing Japanese if anyone ever wants to see like properly what I do I can do a whole video on it if you really want I'm not that great at it 
um I used to practice a lot more when I was at school um like not at school but like when I had the time after school I would do it and I don't even know many words as well that's my problem I need to know actually how to speak it but at the moment I'm just trying to read it because at least if I can read what stuff says I can know roughly what it is <laughs> where I'm going and then I'm going to focus more on questions because obviously going to need to be able to ask questions listen to questions and understand pe basically what people are saying that's why I really want to like do languages just so I can have conversations with people and like when you go to different countries specifically like it's good to know their language make the effort and yeah just have a little go because I did it with German not that I remembered any of my German that I practiced because I did like a whole few pages like I did quite a lot I actually really love how it looks because I did uh in orange I color code all my languages learning so I like correlate the color to the language so I know what language it is and I do my little title pages this is my German one you didn't ask for this but I'm going to show you anyway and then eventually I want to do just the basics of other languages languages so French Thai Dutch just like in this one just random like little conversations and like phrases and like the basics that you need to know and then Italian I am so excited to go to Italy I've been wanting to go for the longest time it's like top of my list I think I said this in yes uh not yesterday's video the last video I did but I've done some Italian because Italian is pretty similar to Spanish but there's like a few differences so it's not that difficult um especially if you can understand most of Spanish I mean I can understand it when I read it I can't understand it when people talk to me because it's very fast and then some Greek and then I really want to do Korean but seeing as I can't get the hang of Japanese at the moment I, mean, I can get I understand it but I just can't do much with it but I did a few bits on Korean it's just the pronunciation of Korean which is the most complex thing because Japanese you look at it and it's how it how it looks really like when it's written out you can basically see what it's trying to say whereas Japanese they just it, no Korean it's just not how it's how it looks at all so I'm gonna have to do some more Korean practice but I think I'll do that more in the future I mainly want to focus on Japanese, Spanish, I need to do some Valencian at some point because where we live they speak Valencian and it is a nightmare. I only need to know food really because that's the only thing that really comes up other than like certain little bits they may not understand but it's mainly Spanish anyway and then Italian and Greek because me and my family are going to try go on a big holiday to Greece or at least that's what I'm planning. <laughs> I've been left in charge of it so that's great. Yeah leave the 17 year old in charge of a big holiday but I'm really excited for it actually and I love planning holidays so it's really good. Also excuse the mess in here but I'm going to clear this up, tidy up my desk. Uh, we're going to go tidy up my room. No we're going to tidy up my desk and then we're going to do my planning and then we're gonna go tidy up my room so, yeah. bit. I moved the Christmas stuff off I literally just put it somewhere that I can't really see it to be honest and then um I went back over this I didn't really do much I just found some pens that I had a long time ago so I put them behind there I've done my video ideas I'm not gonna show you because I am very excited um for it I think it won't be done until summer so you'll have to wait a while for that one but I am very excited to do it I think it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time and it kind of it's also something to help me to help you guys and I just hope you enjoy it when it does come out if it does come out let's be real my YouTube like recording is off the charts sometimes so anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some lunch I think it's lunchtime anyway but we're gonna go downstairs we're gonna find out what time it is and then I'm gonna do some organizing in my room and then I'm just gonna probably chill out and play Xbox for a bit I can't lie but We'll do more stuff later. <laughs> so yeah. How to bounce back about two to three times. Dealing with your ass, got me walking over time. Got me some slack, I've been losing my mind. No, I'm not fine, you've been killing my fight.
independent, you hard-headed, too damn confused about what we had, was all foreign, all that was wrong should have been said, but I was foolish, that you've been minimum of space, I had to lose it, my feelings muted, couldn't answer what we had without the full closure, cause every time I thought that we could start this all over, but now I know I can't do any type of mediocre, used to fall back, but now I'm on a looking forward, can't believe Taking you in this moment, come get close like you own name. Read your aura, you want more of all this love, you'll be your name. Release all of your burdens, it's been me, you'll be searching. Take a load off and your clothes off, just relax, you deserve it. You keep me up tonight, got you all on my mind. Seem like that's hard to find when they keep playing games. because I have done so much washing, I've done so much cleaning, I'm really happy with it because I finally like emptied out my wash bin like completely of all bedding and everything so I'm really happy about it. Did some hoovering and now what I had an idea for earlier was I've got this tracker for my workouts and I want to kind of do a similar thing for my languages so I'm just going to do a table and colour code um, each language so then every day that I do it I can uh, highlight in the boxes and then write what the date was in it because I feel like that would be really helpful to like kind of get an idea of how long it is between times that I'm actually revising how long it is when I'm not revising how like much I should be and yeah I'm just currently sat here oh look wow whose channel is that <laughs> sorry that is so embarrassing um but yeah, I'm gonna make this uh, little chart thing. If you guys also wanna do some languages learning or just use it as a, like a template anyway, I can link it down below so you guys can use it just to do a tracker for anything really. You can change what colors and the names of it is so you know what color it is and what you're doing. So yeah, I'm just gonna crack on with this and yeah, 
I'll see you later. Hi everyone, so I never actually finished yesterday's video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. It is currently the next day, obviously. Um, went out to bingo last night, it was really fun. We didn't win anything, but it was still fun. And I think I had a really good day, well, I think I had a really good day yesterday. I was very productive and I felt really proud of myself for doing all my washing finally. And the weather's really good, so I think it's gonna be a great day. So thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. Hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!